I'd like to talk about torque in putters and how that can affect your ability to maintain a square face angle at impact and also how it can affect your feel and touch for distance. Uh, I've got a few different styles of putter here and we'll go through and uh, demonstrate the torque in these putters. Now what I mean by torque is the center of gravity is away from the striking face here. So when you put the putter in motion, you can see that the toe wants to open up. And what that causes in your stroke is that it requires you to maintain a certain amount of grip pressure to prevent that from opening up and closing. You know, obviously you don't want to have the face opening and closing during a stroke. Uh, just makes it much more difficult to time the amount of rotation so that your uh, the face is square to your target line at impact. So uh, you could, I suggest testing this with your putter. Here's another putter. This is a face balanced putter. The last one was a toe hang putter. So face balance, face balance sounds like a really good idea, uh, but it actually has uh, some adverse effects on your putting stroke. So this face balance putter, try to put it in motion and it just wants to open up. Uh, so, uh, got a lefty here, so obviously with the lefty type putter, this is it's going to flop open the other way. Um, and we've got, uh, there's an older flange style putter. Those have torque. Here's a, another popular style putter, and also it has torque in it. Uh, here's... Uh, the granddaddy of torque right here that I've found so far. Face balanced. Sounds like a great idea. This is the uh, Pell's original three ball putter. And this putter, I can't even begin to take it back before it just pivots on itself. So now you can putt with any of these putters and you can certainly putt okay with them, but it requires you to increase the grip pressure. Now with this putter, it has so much torque in it, I just have to really, really grab on hard to prevent that putter face from opening and closing. If I just have a normal light grip pressure in here, you can see it's kind of obvious how this putter just wants to open up. So, um, and you can feel that, so you're gonna, you're gonna increase your grip pressure and when you start increasing your grip pressure you're going to rob yourself for a feel for distance and that is you know our feel for distance our best player is our dominant hand because we've thrown balls all of our life and so we when we're applying force we're applying force to the shaft when we're putting and so we the harder we grip this the less sensitive we are to that amount of force that we're applying here's a demonstration that you can try another one I taped a dime to this ball and if I put it on the outside perimeter and make a putting motion here you can feel how that weight causes the putter the, this ball to want to rotate more open and I'll spin it around put it in different places and you can feel how that affects the feel of this ball when I'm rotating it any any of the points on the perimeter and it's going to want to rotate open now if I put it on the top and aligned with the center of gravity of this ball it doesn't change the it doesn't create this rotation or if I put it on the bottom it's not going to create this rotation but that's not what's happening with the putters because the center of gravity is away from the face now I, I taped a quarter to this one um, you can try that if you can't feel the dime. Um, you should just hold this very lightly, just like you're going to toss it, and then move that around, and you can sense that tendency for that uh, ball to rotate. Now take a just a standard golf ball and do the same thing and spin it around, and there's no sense of rotation there at all. Uh, now here's another type of putter. This is a putter that doesn't have torque in it. This is an Axis One putter. These putters balance toe up 
and the reason is that the center of gravity is patented to be right on the striking face of this putter. So that means that when you perform this test on it, hold it lightly, take it back, this putter doesn't want to open at all. And so the, there's two big advantages to this. First of all, you have a much better chance of returning the putter to square since this putter doesn't want to open up uh, at all. And the other advantage is that you can just maintain a very light grip pressure with this, just enough to hold it. And you know, it's the old saying is just you want to have a light grip pressure in your putting. And that's the, the reason is that uh, when you're tossing a ball, in order to uh, determine how much force you're applying, you just have to hold it, you hold a ball very lightly. So this type of a putter uh, has uh, some great advantages over the other uh, designs and putters. And now the first thing that happens when I show this to someone is they look at this configuration here in the heel and just think, well, how can I putt with that, you know, I'm going to shank this ball, uh, you know, I'm going to worry about shanking it. Uh, you need to putt, you need to make some putts with this, make some strokes and feel how this is, and uh, soon uh, that configuration here in the heel is, will be a uh, complete non-issue. Uh, you're never going to think about that again. Um, and you, uh, you can just feel this, the neutrality of this stroke and the difference when you're putting uh, with the different kinds of putters. Now you can, you know, with a very light grip pressure, I can feel this putter wants to open up. So anyway, uh, when you're trying to improve your putting, you might want to give yourself the best chance uh, of having a repeatable stroke and with great distance control.